Hi and welcome to episode 4 of Television Art, my project to paint the cabinet of this TV set here. This episode I'll be concentrating on adding details to the designs, putting in brighter colours just to bring them out, and then I'll probably finish up with putting in some blacks to emphasise the shadows and perhaps a little bit of black outline here and there just to bring out certain aspects of the design. And I'll finalise the whole thing with some white highlights and small details such as whiskers on the cats and things like that. So, hopefully because this is quite detailed work it will still make for an interesting work in progress and I hope you'll enjoy watching this particular episode. So, without further ado, let's get on with painting my television set. Okay, so here we go. First off, there's no way I'm going to commentate these, this painting sort of brush stroke by brush stroke because this footage is actually sped up 20 25 times, so there's no way I could keep up with it. Uh, each side actually took me about another hour's work to do all the details. And basically what I did was I started out on this particular cat you're looking at now is mixing up oranges and gradually working to a lighter orange before um, sort of using some of those colours to fill in the background and that because I'm so lazy when it comes to mixing colours it's quite handy this idea of trying to put colours throughout the whole design that you're using in one part to unify it that, that sort of means I can get away somewhat with mixing fewer colours you see here I'm putting the white highlights and white areas onto the cat to sort of define those features and sharpen them up. I actually ended up putting quite a lot more white on than what I thought I was going to do, particularly on the cat. You can see there's like white highlights in the plants and whatever. And then I said I was going to put on black but in the end I didn't use any straight black at all. What I did was got my black and mixed in green so what I'm putting on now is actually a very dark green rather than black. But it served the same purpose and was put on to sort of define the really dark shadow areas and to outline some of the detail and sharpen things up. You can see how the final sort of layer of black is really bringing the design out. I'm using quite a fine brush too to put this on. It almost looks like I'm drawing rather than painting. My hands so close and trying to be so steady in places. From there I think we're just putting in some final little details on that. final last minute bits. And then we moved on to the other side and then I moved to the other side. Actually in this episode I'm doing what I said I would do in the last episode which is just focus on the one design and get that from where it is up to a finished design. So obviously I sort of anticipated doing that a bit too early in the last episode. So here I used some of the colours from the other side, but I ended up having to remix all of the colours just for the nature of acrylics drying out so quick. You'll notice on this side that the footage started out quite dark and then it's a significant change in the lighting to be much lighter. I had to actually stop and adjust my camera settings to be able to 
so that this footage wouldn't be so dark that you sort of couldn't see what I was doing. I had a lot of problems with, because my studio's got skylights in it and the sun was constantly going behind clouds and whatever so it was hard to get a balance with the camera and this side of the TV was actually in the shadow and I didn't really want to move the TV around just for the sake of sort of this bit of film again you can see I'm just putting on the dark green there after doing all the white pretty much the same process as the other side that and then little details like whiskers and dots around the nose that cats have. There's final stuff in there just to sharpen everything up. And that's that and then we moved on to the top. Because the top has got the most light hitting it from the roof or, or from the skylights in my studio. The colours tend to be washed out the most so it's a bit hard to see what I'm doing but these flowers have got sort of bright yellow in the middle of them and although it looks very pale white or very light creamy yellow it's actually a much brighter yellow that I'm putting on. And then I've mixed an orange orange red colour to do the petals. I'm sort of just sharpening those up and making them a bit brighter from what they were. You can see on how the light it keeps changing as the sun goes behind the cloud every now and then. Um down here just little green in the centre of these flowers just to get some shadow and depth into them because they're not actually flat flowers, they actually push forward kind of the way the flower in the middle there pushes forward putting on the white highlights now there's not as much to do in the way of highlights on the top and putting on my really dark green just to really push these flowers out. The top part was obviously the quickest bit to do because it had the least amount of detail. But it was really quite effective. And this butterfly here I actually had to go get myself a photograph of what a butterfly's wing structure looked like so I could make it just that a little bit more realistic and convincing as a butterfly. I was quite happy how it turned out in the end. Even though if you look at the wing structure and compare it to a real butterfly, how it's not it's not very accurate but it looks convincing enough to pass as a butterfly to the, to the average layperson. So just putting on a few more highlights there I think. Shadows and getting in final details. And here we are just finishing off painting the edge of the chipboard so that it's not just exposed. I think it used to have like a metal edging or something in it that, that's completely removed, so I just painted it in with my dark green. This actually took me half an hour, and this footage is sped up something like 40 times. And here we have the finished work. This is just a quick overview. If you want to see better photographs, they'll be on my website. That's the top. And the detail of the butterfly. So it looks reasonably convincing. Side view. So there we go. All finished. We've gone from a fairly plain looking TV cabinet to one with a fairly reasonable looking artwork on all three sides. Despite me having not worked in acrylics for a number of years I think I've put together a fairly reasonable design and 
made for a fairly attractive looking television set so I hope you've enjoyed this four part series and I hope you will look out for future art videos by yours truly until next time as always you've been watching the extraordinary tourist <laughs>